Chase Sexton all of a sudden back under pressure from Jet Lawrence and he closes down the Australian who runs it down the inside. An apology there from the young Australian. So, do you boys think Australia can win Motocross of Nations this year? Yeah, if Jet doesn't flop. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, 18. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Redbud here in Buchanan, Michigan, for the 2022 edition, the 75th running of the Monster Energy FIM Motocross of Nations. First MX on, so it's uh, going to be exciting. Hopefully, we can uh, put the Australian colours up there. Often known as the World Cup of Motocross, or as some have called it over the years, the Olympics of Motocross, but it is an official FIM Motocross World Championship. This weekend, just, you know, you got to try and manage the emotions. It's a team event. You know, we've had a lot of good teams on paper before, <laughs> and it just doesn't always work out. Really, with this race, you can never count things too early. Everything changes. This race breeds chaos. Australia sitting second at the moment, but will they be standing on top step? Will it be the USA? Will it be France? Because they seem to be the leading teams this time around. I don't think Australia's ever won in the history of motocross of nations. So if we win, like, dude, bring the, bring the can of fuel, like, we're going to burn the Honda tent down. <laughs> Right, our next team, Team Australia. And that, of course, Mitch Evans, Hunter Lawrence, Jet Lawrence, and team manager, Michael Byrne. Obviously, there aren't too many brothers who have ridden the motocross the nations, let alone uh, on the same day, the same weekend, at the same time. How cool is it knowing that your brother is fighting the same battle as you this weekend? It's awesome. And the fact that Mitch is here as well, it's like we raced each other as kids, and it's kind of like the first year we have like the full A team of the, the new Australian generation. So it's, it's really cool. 10 years ago, we never could have imagined this. When we were duct taping Jet to toilet back in 2013, I certainly never would have thought that we would be here in representing Team Australia in green and gold and, you know, all three of us together. It's more of a team race. So this race, you know, you're racing, you're really counting on your other guys as well as yourself. So that's a really cool thing because we don't have that, you know, it's a very singular sport. I think this is definitely Australia's year just because we have a really good team. Represent Australia, I feel like when I was a kid I used to watch Motocross the Nations or even the Olympics and, and see what it meant to some of those uh, athletes back then. So now for me to be kind of in their shoes I get to see what that feels like because as a kid I always dreamt of that. We're long odds, for sure, but never out of the fight. As a typical Aussie, we will fight to the death. So a bit of lady luck on our side, and if the boys execute, hey, we can be in the conversation, and that's that would be great, I think, for our first year with these three boys. It's going to be definitely hard. It's uh, it's just kind of just make sure everything goes right, really, because I feel like Nations is definitely a luck thing. We'll see how it goes, but I definitely feel like we have a good chance of at least getting a podium. D1, even though it's just practice, feel good. It's a way to start the day, the weekend. I'm so smiling. It's so Here in Australia, I was born. Heave away, pull away. Can you sing the first part of Advanced Australian Fair? Wow. The first lines of our national anthem. Uh, proud to be. No, that's an American. Whoa, that's bad, that's bad. Ah, oh, far out. Advanced Australia. That song. I forgot uh, quite a bit of it. No, wait, no. No, I can't. I'd have to hear it. I haven't heard it for so many years. It goes something like, uh, Australians all let us rejoice, for we are young and free. Um, With gold and soil and wealth we toil, our land is... Our home is girt by sea. Our land, the bells in nature gives a beauty rich. Ah, uh, yeah, I've forgotten the words, but yeah, I, I didn't know the song. I think I could probably sing it if I had people around me and I'd just like get 
second half of the word? That is a really good question because at every American race, we the American anthem is, is sung, you know, and done. In Australia, that doesn't happen. The last time I would have heard the Australian anthem I remember would have been school. I'm so nervous. <laughs> You're nervous, man. You're nervous. He goes, he goes, do I look that fast out there? Dude, the fuck you guys are like, rah, rah, rah. I'm like, do I look this fast? Like, wait. It'll be fine. I'm like, why do they look so fast? Do I look this fast? You're faster than those guys on a 250. Yeah. Dick weave. <laughs> True. So, it'll be good. Mitch honestly does have a bad spot, bad place. Yeah, not too bad. He gets a jump, he can move on over. The fly racing, 15 second board up for the first time. It's a 20 minute plus two lap race. Gate drops, a good jump from one of the ones in the middle. Siwa leads Evans coming through the first turn and Colton off in third. Our strategy has been the same since we decided to put you on the 450 and also because he's got to ride the 450 next year for outdoors. Really the goal on Saturday is just to get a solid gate pick for Sunday. You don't want to take too much risk. Gosh, there's such an element to this race and you need like just a little luck to get around that first turn and, and lay your ears back and go for it. And just, just once you're going, you don't stop. Hunter Lawrence just got to that second and controlled his own race, wasn't too fussed about going after Coops. USA with three points, Australia on six. How's Jeff been handling it all? Jeff's in his own world, you just know what he's like. He's very oblivious to what's going on around him. He just, when he puts his helmet on, he just focuses on what he's got to do and goes and does it. Wait, to come through? <laughs> does it come through, man? How bad? <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. Set you guys up. Clean? Oh, what happened? What's up with Dave Powder back he there? He put some Dave Powder on his butt and then went wide. Uh, my name is Jack Chambers. I'm here with some dumb kid uh, from Australia. His name is Jet. And then his cool brother Hunter. Uh, just following them around this weekend and getting some close up BTS. <laughs> Okay, we're good now. What is it that you're doing? I'm making a Porsche. Are you supposed to be packing? Yeah, well, we got stuff still drying, so we're gonna... You're just trying to waste time? Yeah. No, none of them have been washed at all. They're gonna dry first. So can Sorry. you please, like, you literally from the last three rounds what? haven't cleaned any of your shoes. I, I think we met in 2019. I was at 83 Compound. Jet came there. I didn't honestly know who he was. Okay, let me just finish the piece. Mama. Most of the time when I'm hanging out with Jet, like, he's just another guy. Jeez, this is me, man. I'm in trouble for everything. <laughs> he's a dumbass. Uh, he's a smart aleck. Where did all my hangers go? He's really confident in what he does. He can literally do anything in front of anyone and not really care what they think about him. Alrighty then. Shit, what shoes am I taking? Meep, 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 meep. Go to uh, Jets and Co. Is that a piss stain? Okay, you're fully packed. Tomorrow's the day we fly. Look at the boy. Is Moose going with us? Yeah, he's coming. Moose coming to the airport with us. I might go on his dad's on vacation. Is this thing working? Is it on? Is it on? It's not just a Jack going for the title thing, it's a. Team Australia set up. You nervous at all? Um, if you count nervous as being really excited, then yes. Because I first one, I, I can't wait. See ya. Okay, we need to try and take the crops. Okay, see you later, boys. Alright, see ya. I'll be that guy in the airport with sunglasses on. <laughs> 450, obviously. I've jumped the leap. It's gonna be exciting. I, can't, I just can't wait, really. I just wanna, just wanna race. Oh. We're training already. Yeah. For what? You just have to beat somebody up online. I won't be getting thrown any whips off the leaf, but because I'm manly, so I can't whip. Are you? Are you pulling the back or are you chasing the back? Oh shit! Stop. What's up? Jason, hey, what's up? How was the flight? It was good. So How was your flight? You guys? It was guys great. Flight. I just had to sit next to Jet the whole time. So I'm sorry, dude. So, yeah. If you contact Red Bull, you may be co you may be entitled to financial compensation. <laughs> They've been trying to reach me the whole day. 
my advice to him was, uh, so he has these like Lightning McQueen Crocs, and like there's a quote in Lightning McQueen, and he says, Boss of the boss, you like quick. I am speed, baby. Woo! So he's, he's gonna say that on the line. I think it's gonna work. I haven't given Jet any advice. Just let him do him. I mean, he'll handle it. The Amex Open qualifying heat. Some of these teams are already qualified now based on their low scores that they have already. I mean, he's been on bird scooters, just typical Jet stuff, a little more. A little more looser because it's like over a two day thing, so it's a lot more laid back and casual. So in Jet's mind, he has more time to do other stuff. We've got Jet Lawrence and uh, Rip Fernandez there going bar to bar. As uh, Lawrence down the inside barges his way past the Spaniard. Yeah, I don't think Ruben's going to take time with that. You see the retaliatory move there. And Jet's not used to that. More than anything, I think Jet just wants to get to the front. You see him get aggressive there. He had it for a couple laps behind Fernandez. He's now got the same problem with Calvin Belandre. Ferrandis and France pick up one point. They will qualify second. So it'll be 3 4 5 USA, France, Australia. All right, buddy. It's just qualifying race. Right? I know it sucks. You piss you off. But... Well, everyone's going to race you like that on the 450. Let's be real. Right? Everyone's going to like try and get a hero moment against Jet Lawrence. Like, you're going to have to expect it, mate. They're all going to, like, no one's going to lay over. Like, when I start, like, kind of just going, yeah, okay, I'm not catching these boys. Like, I put in a few laps and. I think they even, they got me in more, I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'm just, I'll stay here. I don't know how you would feel, but they, they kind of started stepping up because Dylan was like right on him, yeah. which is obviously tough because you're kind of in, not in no man's land, but they're like right on each other, just yeah. like pushing like his, crazy. His body language, but looked like he went for two to three laps to yeah, go, yeah, okay, can I pull him in? And I think he went, ah, just I'm about the same, stuff. bugger it, I'll just stay where I am. Oh, so I seen his great, body like... body posture go, you know what, it's cool, I'll just get third, you know? Hello everybody and welcome to Red Bud Buchanan, Michigan, here in the United States. How are we feeling for our mother? What are you doing in that t-shirt, you crazy boy? Rained all night. Gonna be a fun one, hell yeah. We are getting ready to go racing here on what is a slightly different racetrack to what we witnessed yesterday when the conditions were dry. We have three motos. It'll be Mitch and Hunter first, then it'll be Hunter and I second, then Mitch and I in the third one. We'd love to have both guys top five in all motos. I think that's a realistic. Uh, puts us in a really good position. The riders and teams line up then ahead of race one, which is a combination of the MXGP and MX2 riders. Of course it starts raining right now. USA get first pick, having topped the qualifying races yesterday. Then we have France with Max Renault and Marvin Muscan, Mitch Evans and Hunter Lawrence for Australia. My kid's so nervous. Gate drops over here. I'm going to keep an eye to the right-hand side. Tomac through the middle, and it's going to be Tomac and Yago Kiet. But Hunter Lawrence there in fifth place. And Justin Cooper just a few positions further back. Hunter Lawrence, 114 for Australia. He is the lead MX2 rider in fifth position at the moment. Oh, come on, Hunter. So Tomac leads. The first six riders are all MXGP 450 riders. This is Evans and Prado. These two are fifth and sixth for Australia and Spain. But right now, Tomac riding in the world of confidence, almost eight seconds clear of Yago Kietz, the Belgian. We've seen a little bit of Mitch Evans in fifth place battling with Jorge Prado. Haven't seen too much of his teammate Hunter Lawrence, 114 in eighth place, the first of the MX2 riders. He's about seven seconds clear of Justin Cooper at the moment. Oh, yeah, he's nine. That's good. Stay there. Come on, boy, let's go! Looking good for Lawrence at the moment, and Australia, they're currently second overall. And the Americans will win race one here. As it stands right now, Team USA, 10 points in the classification. Australia on 13, the USA, three points clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, not bad. Not perfect, but, um, yeah, pretty happy with it. Good start and, yeah, just stayed clean and uh, P5, I think. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, happy with it. That was perfect. You let it come to you. Like, you don't want to take that big risk just to, yeah. Uh, throw it down the track, like let it all settle. We've got an interesting matchup with the two Lawrence brothers. One on the 250, Hunter Lawrence and his brother Jet on the open class bike 450. Remember, the motocross of nations, all about strategy. Celebration, if we win or podium, I think it's still going to be probably the same. To be honest, I think either one, either one of those is a great result for our country. It is MX2 and open. Jay Sexton now has already found his way past Jet Lawrence, but look at that, Australia third and fifth. Chase Sexton all of a sudden back under pressure from Jet Lawrence and he closes down the Australian who runs it down the inside. 
an apology there from the young Australian, but he moves it to second position, a decisive move. If Australia wins, probably can't give my real reaction now if that happened on camera, because mum would be very angry. She doesn't like our language sometimes. He's all of a sudden found some speed and he charges down the inside, takes the lead away from Guadagnini. It's Australia and Jet Lawrence who leads in race two. I don't know how we're going to celebrate. I'm like, as you can see, I'm already smiling <laughs> if we do win. I don't even know. Jet Lawrence, an absolutely dominating display here, wins for Australia, his first ever Motocross of Nations event, and it's his first race win, and on a 450. Just go. All right, buddy. Let's go. Yeah. What are we on points now? Uh, I think it's 27. Uh, and they're at 17, though, so we're 10 behind. What did Hunter do? Hunter got 10, dude. He was right uh, off the start. He fell. Oh, dude, so, I could have whole shot that. Dude, you you cut over hard too. I know. Perfect. You do what you need to do. He will now have the task of going back, getting the bike cleaned off. His mechanics have got some work to do. There's about a 35, 45 minute turnaround now before they line up again for the third and final race of the day. I think we're sitting second uh, as it sits right now. Obviously, this last motor is always important. So here we are, we're getting ready to go racing then. Got off to a good start. Jetson rode really well. Mitch rode really good in the first one as well, so should be good. Really, with this race, you can never count things too early. Everything changes. This race breeds chaos. Oh, Evans goes down for Australia. Jet Lawrence, who's taken a few laps to get himself sorted, has really found pace. All of a sudden, he's all over the back of Chase Sexton. But he's hard on the brakes, he's going to charge down the inside. Wow, decisive that. Well, that will put Australia within two points on France. He is right within pouncing distance now. Look at the rain coming down now. Lawrence with no goggles as well. So that is also a telltale sign. Lawrence will take second, but Chase Sexton, Team USA, has won the Motocross of Nations for the Team USA. And there were three points in it between the French and the Australians who are on the podium for the first time themselves since 2011. Man, what a tough day, tough day. Everyone fought hard. We all left it out there. So, hey, we did it, we got a third, so it's cool, cool. Definitely good building here.